خليني نقول لكم قصتي. Let me tell you my story. قصة لما تكون بعيد من بلدك. A story of being far from home, of facing the unknown. The world's youngest nation on the brink of collapse. War in Violence South Sudan. Ethnic gangs. cleansing taking place. The government preventing aid. Five million persons. Tens of thousands. For 340,000. A quarter of a million people. It's one of the biggest refugee crises in the world. The story of a refugee. Our stories may be different, but I wonder if you've ever been like me. Maybe you're an eldest son like me, with brothers and sisters to look out for. My father was arrested during the Sudan Civil War, separated from our family. He wrote my mother a letter telling her to leave the country, and so we did. My mother, my brothers and sisters and me found our way to safety, found a way to a refugee camp in Ethiopia. Maybe you're a student like me, with a desire to learn. Once we settled in the camps, I found I could go to school. I could learn and play soccer with my friends if I walked eight kilometers to get there. You may be a chef like me, bringing ingredients together to make a meal for your family. One pound of flour, one pound of sugar, wheat, lentils. Once a month, we received a ration. Sometimes when it wasn't enough, we would combine our food with other families to make it last the month. When you live in a refugee camp, you don't get a say in where you are placed. You just accept the next steps. Our placement said we were being moved across the sea to Stone Mountain, Georgia. I thought this meant we were going to live in the mountains. When I first moved to the United States, everything was new. The culture, the money, the language, the food. It's a lonely place to be when you're far from home and nothing is familiar. But through all of this, there were people that helped me find my way. People who, through small acts of kindness, were able to help me. Like my teacher, who helps me study on Monday and Wednesday and teaches me English and math so I can earn my GED. Like my boss at Refuge Coffee Company, who cares about me and gave me my first job in America. Like the person who came to pick me up and take me to an American football game. That was very fun. Or like the person who came to pick me up and teach me about all the good places to eat. There are so many people who did small things to help me feel at home, who helped me face the unknown, who made me feel less unsure and alone. who give, who serve, who love.